Why should I look when I'm talking? Um, are you more comfortable looking at me when you talk or looking at the um or looking at the camera? Oh. What are you more comfortable with? Uh probably looking at you. I don't think I could look at a camera. Okay, great, yeah. So look at me. <laughs> okay. Um so maybe I will sit this. Hmm. Okay. All right, so what is, I'm going to look at the camera for a second here and there just to make sure it's okay. the focus in that end. Um, so the question is, what is your advice to yourself when you're having a bad day? Um, my advice is to forgive myself and to let it be and not to, like if I feel those thoughts coming on, um, which tell me that it's like wrong to feel like this or I'm useless, um, I separate those in my head and I say that's um, that's not me, that's something else and I need to ignore it and I put it to the side and I notice when those thoughts come in so that I can dismiss them um, and then I'll distract myself um, by uh, I like to stroke cats, I like to be around other people I like to play music, I like to have music on um, and I like to remember to take regular breaks to do fun things as well as trying to do my work. Um, yeah, I like um, sometimes expressing the feelings is really helpful, like just writing um, some prose. It doesn't really have to mean anything or to show anyone ever. That can be fun or just like expressing myself through art is fun and always talking to people about it. Um, always helps me. People that understand and have been through similar things. Are there any active? Well, I guess if you are having a bad day, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna send you the video if you'd like. Yeah. Do you wanna like give yourself advice? Okay. Oh, like. Oh, like I forgot. Talk, like, do I talk directly to myself? If you want to. Is that better? Well, I'm, I'm trying both, and oh, okay. I'll see which one comes better, if you want. Like, to kind of be like, Robin, you're having a bad day. Mm. Okay, yeah. Um, Robin, if you're having a bad day, you need to stop and... And by the way, like, I could send this, I could send this video to you so you could have it. Aww, that's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, so you need to stop blaming yourself, stop beating yourself up, and forgive yourself for feeling this way. And when the negative voices come into your head, understand that they aren't you, and you shouldn't listen to them, and separate yourself from them, and don't give them any of your time. And go find your friends and sit with them for a while, tell them how you're feeling, you're not a burden, you're allowed to do this, everyone needs this sometimes. Stroke a cat, look at some nature, listen to some music, keep yourself busy. And if you need to just do nothing for a while, if you need to cancel commitments because you're low, then that's totally fine and it's gonna be okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah? Mm hmm. Cool. My advice for myself when I'm having a bad day. Definitely not overthinking and making it worse because I do that. Depends. Depends on like how bad a day I guess. Uh -huh. Oh. Um, what was I saying?
coffee. My advice for what to do on a bad day or like what I do on a bad day. <laughs> I didn't expect myself to start crying, but... Uh, this psyche where you're trying to be alpha. I know a lot of people try to be alpha and it is so annoying. Yeah, trying to force myself doing things doesn't always work. And we have to show that we're the best. It's like, it means that guys don't really want to talk about their feelings and they're scared to and they're scared of being ridiculed. Also tell myself to stop giving myself such a hard time because I don't deserve it. To allow myself to not be perfect all the time. It's absolutely okay to be a beginner. Don't be uh, afraid to reach out to other people. It's okay to do that. forgive myself and to let it be and just like be present in whatever you're doing or drinking tea or just sitting. To not feel guilty about sitting and doing nothing. Yeah, sometimes I punish myself a little bit. We do not allow ourselves to be sad and make mistakes. We put on a pretty smile and act all fake. Just to look nice, our mental health we sacrifice. As the anger builds up, we explode and pay the price. We are ashamed of others, and we don't share imagining the worst outcome. We get scared by suppressing emotions, we become our worst enemy. Our bodies get weaker and our brains lose sanity. Paradoxically, we can only hear when we accept the pain. Welcome how we feel, five minutes of writing Or calling a friend can put your mind at ease From always trying to pretend When you are blocking them, they become a distraction So drop your baggage and you're ready to take action You put the rainbow of emotions in an embrace They don't control you anymore and it puts you in a better so place So I ask myself Is it okay To allow myself permission To be human So I ask myself
try and look after myself in ways that I know I appreciate, like staying in bed. And to keep playing music. Step away from the situation. Exercise in a fun way and be around people that you really like. Physical exercise is good, but make sure that it's something that you actually like. Get tired by doing something you enjoy. I enjoy cleaning. I like it. I like to create um, dishes as well. And again, <laughs> I love flavours and playing around with flavours. The double chocolate ones with the white chocolate. Just know that you are loved. They hug me myself. It makes me feel, I don't know, like protected or safe. Calling my mum to hear her familiar voice. I call my mum because she's, I don't know what it is, she's got like healing powers, I'm pretty sure. Go see the dog because she always makes me happy. She makes everyone happy because she's so happy. Watching funny things and drinking tea, having a bar. If you don't talk about it, it's just going to be a constant problem. I'll tell them how you're feeling, you're not a burden. People will listen to you if you, uh, if you reach out to them. See to remember that. Expressing the feelings is really helpful, like just writing. When you've got, when you've just emptied out your mind of what's going on, you realize how empty and just like how light your shoulders feel. So definitely talking. If you're having a bad day, it will come to an end. So it's gonna be okay. See.